Jiggle, jiggle, go, jiggle, jiggle, go. Jiggle, jiggle, go. Hey guys! Hey, hey. How are you? Oh, I love the light. Oh yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Yeah, Especially it's, on my hair. Yes, I agree. It's proper bringing out a color. Mm -hmm. I love it. And that purple shampoo, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, you use purple shampoo? Mm -hmm. Where did you get it? Right A. She got it from right eye. Right. Uh, hi, Ava. <laughs> she oh, the out. evil look. Mm. I think mean, that's just a supermodel look, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all. So oh, she just growled at us, too. <laughs> All right, so. This AK month, here. Yes. This month is Pride Month, y'all. Woo! The girl earrings for Pride! Shout out, shout out to the family, shout out to the family. <laughs> Yo, she's showing up my hands as well. Celebration. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so we thought, um, with how many people are struggling, especially after last year, where everything was so depressing and we were in the house and you couldn't celebrate the way you wanted to celebrate. And, you know, things like this, whenever, um, even if it's not a secret, just holding, um, holding on to any type of phobia, any type of, um, Ava, shush, my love. Holding on to any transgressions or anything that, um, relating to sexuality or any burdens or any, um, stereotypes or any type of difficulties you're facing everything had to be held internally just because of last year and that restriction of going out there and really finding yourself or becoming more confident and so we thought why not bring you a video today to you know boost that little confidence get you out there get you ready for pride yes pride okay. oh my god i wish i could go to the parade celebrate, in new york people, celebrate Oh, because New York have it this month. Mm -hmm. End of this month, honey. End of this month. Ava, no. Ava. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> that look. Oh, my goodness. That look. Them eyebrows. Jesus. <laughs> my Lord. So, <laughs> so, um, Really, we were online and we saw that um, a lot of people are figuring out ways to celebrate from home. Or they were celebrating from home last year, you know, getting the flags, getting um, different quotes out and about, getting earrings, anything to make yourself feel nice and colorful, you know. And prideful. And prideful. Whereas this year, we're ready to celebrate, we're ready to get down and do it, yeah? Right, but some of y'all don't have the outfit to get out there anymore because you know this year has just been like a catch up year. You know, focus on getting your finances back, focus on getting this back. Nobody's focusing on fun anymore, but this month is all about fun, y'all. It's all about fun. So, we want y'all to remember, right. There's always helplines out there, right? If um, if you're feeling suicidal or if you're feeling down or you just want to speak to somebody, there's always helplines out there, right? YouTube is also a great source of support because there's plenty of people out there that um, have a lot of coming out stories. <laughs> that have a lot of coming out stories are, um, are just general ways in which you can participate or get involved with anything pride related or anything lgbtqia related there's plenty of um advocates there's plenty of um supporters there's just plenty of stories that you can invest time in to get your confidence up and about and to get yourself 
nice and ready. It's a yes. party this month, okay? I wish you could go. Oh my god. Oh my god. But reality yes. hits for us and we gotta work and shit. Mm -hmm. And that might be another down factor as well. You know, you're focused on work. Mm -hmm. And maybe you're not in that environment that's really open. In the struggle. Mm -hmm. You're not, you're, you're not in an environment that's very much open to um, who you want to be or who you think you are or who you are, you know? And so expression might be hard, right? And it's good to find people like that who are open-minded. Yes, right? I am very open-minded, yes. guys. But it's really good to walk in your own confidence because that's when you'll gravitate to people or uh, people will gravitate to you who is very much about your cause or very much about supporting you in general. And honestly, I was never like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, you never were? I was never, Tell no. the story, tell the story. I, I don't what know. What were you like? I was, I'm, I'm still shy, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but I, I, I have more self-confidence and more of a higher self-esteem than I did before. And this is all after Ava. All after Ava, and after I started at, at, at 39. Nice. Because I felt more welcomed in that in that environment than previous environment. environments. Oh. I think it's about I think it's about change. Like in this mm, yeah, life, change. Yeah. In this life, you really have really to is. you really have to follow your heart. You have to think. Okay, is this for me? What can I do to change? You know, uh, there's a saying that um, giving up. Oh, I saw it on somebody's page yesterday. You get two choices: you can either give up or you can um, keep going. Either way, you're um, you're bound to struggle, and that's true. Uh, do you want to give up? and continue to struggle or, and or do you want to keep pushing on and continue to struggle because regardless i always say to people i move around a lot but the one thing that's always the same is the struggle yeah like you're always going to face struggle so you have to think about pushing on pushing on pushing on pushing on pushing on pushing on uh even if you're being even if you're somebody who's being bullied i've said this a million times if you're somebody who's being bullied you know what i noticed when i was younger and i was living in a country that was so opinionated you come whenever you come across bullies, they always have the same cusses. They always have the same diss. It's always the same. No matter how much they try to reword it or how many different people you come across that rephrase it differently, it's always the same diss. You're you're gay or you're lesbian, you're transsexual, you're you're useless, you're deaf. If you're facing the same diss every day, all you gotta do is sit down and think about two comebacks for each and every diss. <laughs> That's really the truth, right? And you have to have that confidence to reply when the time comes. And you know what's crazy? And no, I'm lying. My, my self-esteem went higher after Cardi B's freaking Invasion of Privacy album. Oh my gosh, especially Get Up 10. Oh my gosh, that shit. The day after, yo, I walked outside like a boss. And that's the thing too, music. Music, yeah, music is inspiration. Helps. Art is inspiration. So even if you're drawing something that's prideful and you want to put it out there um, as a coming out, right? Feel free. You don't have to say your your this or that. You can just use art. You can use oh, your and, your talent. And he speak. saw um a, a pride art challenge. Yeah. Yeah, he saw that. We're, a, we're, a not while at, ago. we're not good at drawing, but uh, epic, mm -mm. epic. So, so you check can out use, that. Yeah, use whatever source you can, whatever talent you have to to take steps you feel you need to take to be more confident. But don't let somebody tell you, oh, you're not worthy of being around us, or you're not worthy of. Oh, I hated that feeling. Mm -hmm. I hated that. And feeling. a lot of times That's it's you. Feeling. Like a lot of times it's you that feels that way. But you don't open up about that way, so nobody can convince you otherwise. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And so you play on your mindset. You have to work on your mental, strengthening your mental. I felt that mental. way in school. I felt that way at work. I felt that way in other places. Yeah. It's just, it, and now I just don't give a fuck. Yeah. Now I just don't give a fuck. What? What? I don't give a fuck. Ah, eh. <laughs> No, we want to. <laughs> oh my hair! Oh my god! We want to make it very clear, right? Whether you are LGBTQIA or you're straight, it really don't matter as long as you learn to be confident within your own skin. That's what it's about. So whatever you need to do to feel more confident within your skin, 
go ahead and do it. Whatever change you need to make, if you need to, if you need to be more open about your your musical choices or the shows you watch or the type of crowd you want to hang around with or the type of people you're interested in, then go ahead and do so because nothing's gonna change until you make that change. Mm -hmm. right. And I had body issues after Ava. But a lot of people was like, oh, Nat, look at you, looking mad thick. Oh, my God, your ass is dumb fat. I said, okay, guys. And that's another thing, too. Like, learn to compliment yourself as well. Because that, yes. that makes a difference. It's then one I was thing looking when other at how I was looking. I said, ooh, yes, yeah, my butt did get plumper. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you, Ava. <laughs> it works. Like, complimenting yourself, it mm -hmm. should be like, ooh. And don't hold things list. in. I feel like holding things in is a ticking time bomb. Absolutely. And that's not good for your mental state. Absolutely. It's not. If you have something to say, say it. Say it. Now, this this uh, month we're trying to keep everything re pride related. And so we've got... We got... Legendary, I'm gonna show him HBO Max's Legendary. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Face, face, give me face, yes. Mm, mm, mm. I'm so, yeah, I'm, I'm such a I, I say I am a gay man in a woman's body. <laughs> I be doing all the duck walks and shit. <laughs> Oh my god, but we and got, I'm gonna show, hmm? I still can't do the duck walk. No, oh my god, I'm gonna teach him, I'm gonna teach him. Go. Leave it like that. Ow. Ow. Oh yes, but we're doing legendary one. Legendary, and then um, I still want to do uh, my, the top 10 like lip syncs from RuPaul, because you know RuPaul, I love you so much, and how much do I gotta tell you that? But, uh. Shout out to people who are actually making change, like, like. Pose, right? I remember when I came across Pose, that cast, like the fact that you have all like transgender cars, so for the most part, they're transgender cars. That makes a lot of difference in this world. So, shout out to people who are investing time in change and storylines that are, are being more open, whether it's to do with interracial or gender inequality or, or age inequality, like anything mm -hmm. that's opening doors right now or attacking um, the norms. Keep going. Yeah. It, it's so crazy how far things have gone from like back then to now with with, with LGBT and 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 yeah, every effort makes a difference. Absolutely. Yep. Between milk, you know, oh, milk I is. love milk. Oh my god. Yep. Milk. milk. That's my baby. Yep. And it's Harvey so unfortunate. <laughs> oh, I love you, Harvey. I love you. <laughs> Poor drink for him. <laughs> that was that hope speech, y'all. I said it to the end of the day that that's my favorite speech. Right, it's so sad. It's like just to be assassinated because somebody doesn't approve of what you believe in or how you are, how you live. I'm okay. You know, like right. it's just ridiculous. But just for people doing so much for us to be where we at now, you know, they sacrificed their life. Absolutely. They went to jail. Absolutely. Beaten. Mm -hmm. All types of shit. Uh, and this is not just relating to sexuality. We're talking about everything. Like women had to march for, for you know, for there to be equality. And they enjoyed a lot as well. They enjoyed a lot and they're still enjoying a lot because in the um pay pay inequality still mm -hmm. exists. Still exists. Yeah. It still is. It's like um you have to work 10 times harder just to be recognized as a woman. That's crazy. So, y'all, we hope this gives you a little bit of boost in regards to your confidence and getting yourself out there making changes you need to make to be a better person. If you want to do it, do it. No. But if it's, if it's legal. <laughs> no. If it's legal. If it's illegal, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. If you gotta say something to somebody, say it. But say it in a way that's not confrontational. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Just say it in a way that doesn't damage your moral um, your moral codes. Stick to to just um, being a nice person. Nobody needs to invade your your positiveness. You don't need to 
drifts way over to the lines of negativity to make your point. Does that make sense? Embrace the gayness. Mm. Gayness is anything. Drag is anything. You can be anything. Embrace it. Embrace it. Embrace it. Embrace it. Embrace. Embrace. <laughs> so uh, we thank y'all so much for joining us. You know, we might have some makeup done this month for a prize. Mm. Yeah. Oh my god, I want to go to a ballroom so bad. Oh my she god, does. I does. love them so much. You I don't love know. The ballroom, scene. the ballroom scene is everything, it's energy, it's life, it's everything. It really is. Like, it really is. I'm so happy they went from underground to mainstream. Amen. I'm I'm really excited that people are seeing this. Hard work pays off, y'all. Mm -hmm. So y'all, thank y'all so much for joining us. Yes, check us out at underscore joint underscore custody, custody with a K. With a K, and I'm at Stormy Sky eighty nine. And I uh, AK underscore the mega. <laughs> what he said. Well, exactly how it sounds. What he said. The Messiah. All right, so we'll talk to you later and Thank check you. us out next week. Thank you. Bye. Cheerio.